Hey there, this is Sky Valley Future with an overview of how the timber sale process works on public land in Washington. Millions of acres of public land in Washington are managed by the State Department of Natural Resources, and the Board of Natural Resources sets policy for DNR, the Department of Natural Resources. All of DNR land is managed primarily for revenue. So the Board of Natural Resources meets once a month. It's chaired by State Commissioner of Public Lands, Hillary Franz, who is the head of the DNR, and they vote on timber sales. First, there's public comment, and then there's comment on timber sale action items, meaning that if there's a specific sale in the packet that you wanna comment on as a member of the public, or if you're a timber lobbyist, you can comment on that sale. And then the Board of Natural Resources has the entire packet uh, presented to them and typically they almost always vote to approve the entire packet. Once the sales are approved, they generally go to auction sometime in the next month or so. And then typically the timber companies who have won the bid at the auction have anywhere from a two to a five year window to actually log the area. If you're wondering how you might be able to find out about a timber sale that may or may not be coming up near you, just go to Google and type in BNR DNR WA, and you will see a link for the Board of Natural Resources, and that'll take you to this page here. Once you're at this page, if you scroll down to 2020 meetings, you will see the next one coming up. And if you click on the timber sale proposals for the ones for the meeting that's coming up next, you'll be able to see which um, timber sales are going to be presented. So this, for example, is a 10 sale packet that is going to be proposed in um, for sale in November. Therefore, it's going to be discussed at the next October meeting. And then if you decide that you wanna comment on one of these sales, you go back to the previous page and here it says detailed instructions on how to join the webinar are here. It's similar to joining a Zoom meeting, except with a lot more sound and tech problems please go to skyvalleyfuture.org and help us show the Snohomish County Council that we don't want the area around Wallace Fall State Park logged. What you see here is the middle May timber sale, which was approved, but which was granted an extension until November 30th before it goes to auction. And what you see there in purple is Wallace Fall State Park. The orange borders here show the amount, the land that we want to have reconveyed as a public park and all it takes is for the Snohomish County Council to propose that resolution and then have a majority vote to have the land reconveyed. DNR does not even have the option based on state law to say no, and the county does not have to pay for the land. They simply pay for the survey and the cost of the transfer, which is estimated to be several hundred thousand dollars, which means a new preserved area for less than $100 an acre. But what you see here is the five-year plan for depart from that DNR has for this area. Everything in red is variable retention harvest potential, which means clear cut. And everything in the yellowish green is potential thinning. The only areas that won't be logged are the dark green, which means submature, meaning anything from clear cut two years ago to you know 30 years old, or the purple, which is spotted owl best habitat. If you think that this would be better off preserved for the community, for the wildlife, for the recreation opportunities, and for a buffer for Wallace Fall State Park, please go to skyvalleyfuture.org and follow the instructions on the main page to fill out a very quick, less than 20 seconds form to tell the Snohomish County Council what you think.